Yo, what's good? It's your boy Sid at the Schedule Prevail. We back at it with another video. Um, today we're going to do a video on the masculine and feminine signs. Um, actually, before we start though, I want to tell y'all that I would like y'all to subscribe. Um, thumbs up if you like the content. Thumbs down, I guess, if you don't. That's cool too, you know, whatever floats your boat. But um, this video is going to be real simple. Um, I actually don't want to make this too long. In the last video I did for last week, it was entitled Understanding Aspects and Astrology. Um, I mentioned briefly about um, sign relationships in terms of the signs and, you know, the relationship in terms of gender, modality, you know, things of that nature, right? And also, a while back, I did a video on how to find out if someone's introverted or extroverted, you know, using astrology or the birth chart. I mentioned briefly in that video, at least the one on um, introverted and extroverted about, you know, masculine signs and feminine signs, as well as the video I just put out last week on aspects. But um, again, you know, if you didn't see those videos, we're gonna cover the information. Yeah, again, this is very simple, very uh, basic elementary. We're gonna start now and the top row right here, right? You see I numbered here the signs in terms of what they would be. Aries is the first sign, right? All the way to Aquarius, which is the 11th sign, excuse me. Um, it skips every other one. So basically, these are the odd number signs, right? And this is going to be the masculine signs, right? The masculine signs are basically planets come through them. Um, in terms of like in your chart, you're more so going to express that energy going outwardly, basically. Um, so we got Aries, the first sign. We got Gemini, which is the third sign. Leo is the fifth. Libra is the seventh. Sag is the ninth. Aquarius is the 11th, right? Um, when you think of these signs, right, they're masculine or male signs, don't think of it as, you know, I guess just sex or, 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 or um, even though, you know, that would be like a gender in terms of male and feminine, male and female signs. Um, just think of it the way the energy is uh, expressed, basically, right? A lot of times, um, feminine energy is more so receptive, intuitive, uh, going within. Masculine energy is more so going outwardly, conquering, um, you know, going into the outer world taking action, right? So, of course, you know, you can be a female and have a lot of masculine energy or your plants can be coming through masculine signs and vice versa. You can have a male that has a lot of um, feminine uh, energy in terms of just the signs, the plants coming through the signs, right? I stated this example in the last video um, in aspects, basically, but fire signs and air signs are on this top row for male or masculine signs. Um, if you want to think about it, a way to remember it is that you need, in order to keep a fire going, you need, well, you need the fire, but you need oxygen, basically. So fire and air, right? Now, we're going to skip down to the female or feminine signs, right? These are basically all of the earth and water signs, right? So we got Taurus as the second sign. We got Cancer as the fourth. We got Virgo as the sixth sign. Scorpio eighth. Capricorn tenth. Pisces as um, the 12th, excuse me. Um, all of the earth signs are in brown. All of the water signs are in blue. If we skip back up here, I meant to say this. All of the fire signs in terms of Aries, Leo, and Sag are in red. Green are basically the air signs. Um, when we skip back down here, these are gonna be the even signs um, in terms of the number, basically. And Again, the energy is more so going within. You have planets here that could be more coming, excuse me, planets coming through these signs that could be more reflective or more introverted in terms of how you express your nature. So that's just something to think about. Um, a way that you can remember this is in order to grow plants, you need earth and water. Of course, you need other things, but that's just a simple example. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the video. You know, it's that simple. Um, stay tuned, make sure, make sure y'all subscribe, share, like. Um, I would appreciate it, and um, thank you for your time. All right, y'all. We got more content coming soon. Peace.